dogs are going to be barking. Let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I don't know exactly how long I'm going to be streaming today, but we're going to try and at least stream for at least an hour or two for sure. Um, we have to. We our character did die, so we're, we've got to make a new new family line. And we are going to be. Veldrich Dinklin. We're gonna go with the same traits that we had last time. Honest and uh, cold-hearted with the stag. Uh, I think we're gonna try off the tutorial though. You look like a Veldrich. Alright. Alright, so it starts you with 5,000 capital. Um, start off with 40 salts kind of like they did in the tutorial um, and we're going to go to Novogord just making sure that has the salt which it does still not sure what these bars above them mean if you guys, if you guys know, let me know in the uh, comment section on YouTube. I would be more than happy to to read that and figure out what exactly is what exactly that means, because that would be really helpful. So these are basically back to not being worth a damn at all. Okay. That's a shame. just went up. Okay. Salt price just went up too, so like that's helpful. I'll give us some extra extra little bit of capital to work with. Buy this. We buy some wool. Actually we'll just fill up on wool. And some pork. 
Which, by the way, I did find out you can move the camera um, with the arrow keys. So, for anybody out there that is playing this, you can move around with the arrow keys, which is actually rather helpful. One thing I like to do um, that, you know, may or may not be beneficial, actually, is pause when you get into a dock. Um, the main reason I've been enjoying doing that is it saves you wasting extra time. Like, for instance, these are perishable goods. If they go bad, I lose money. 10-5, 10-5. Seven three, so wool itself is a good product to sell. Beef definitely is a good product to sell for sure. Uh, buy herring for three. Salt to six here now. Seven three ten five one thirty eight. Pepper, wine, saltpeter, something that we can make a lot of. Right, we'll go ahead and let this play for just a second. And we'll look for the salt prices to drop, um, give it a day or two, and see if they drop at all. So they're actually. They actually are going up, jeez. Okay, um, well then in that case, we're gonna go ahead and sail back to Rebel. Um, our goal today is not to get rich, but is more to find a consistent pattern to be able to make money with. That's all the goal I have for today. You know, I just realized I'm not wearing my headset. Um, so you guys have been hearing the game audio double. Yay, professional streamer! Oh, you're streaming right now, Rooster? Oh, dear God, this volume is ungodly loud. Oh, but, oh, God, if I use these, you guys won't hear the game audio at all. Jeez. Okay. Um, I've got to figure out a solution for this. <sighs> Professional streamers here, people. Professional streamers. Well, um, apparently if you do that, it royally messes up the game, so let's not do that again so that you guys don't have to hear the double audio. Let's go ahead and exit, and we'll reload the game. Sorry about that. So what are you streaming, Rooster? If you don't mind me asking. Okay, why is it not playing through my actual audio system now at all? Okay, now for some odd reason I'm not hearing the game at all, neither are you guys. Right? Okay. Um, properties, default, speakers, done. Okay, and then 
go over here. Let's actually just turn off the Bluetooth. Oh, because it thinks it's still connected. That's why. Yeah, there's the game audio back. Okay. I have fixed the problem. Windows is stupid, but I fixed the problem. Whoever programmed the Windows Bluetooth system, if the Bluetooth device turns off, you should no longer be connected to it. Just saying. Alright, we're buying in tens. That. And we don't want to buy wool here because their wool's pretty well used up. So, how are you guys today, though? tried selling alcohol. I'm gonna take 10 alcohol and see like if it sells for anything. There's a pirate. Pirates that are peaceful. Hmm. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, amigo. Uh, just fair warning. This is going to be the game that I'm going to be playing probably for quite a while. Prices are down. Wool prices are down. Well, I appreciate the follow, amigo, if you do. Yep, there's the follow. Much appreciated. sell here. The alcohol is a definite loss. The wool could be a sell here, but I see possibly Copenhagen could use it, so. Yeah, so there's the wool for them. And the alc is still a loss, so. From Root Ah, from Rooster. Yeah, no, Rooster's awesome. I love Rooster. Wait. I have... I have beef just sitting over here? Ugh. Jeez. I had beef just sitting there. Oh, man, that... That's so bad. Means I bought too much and it automatically went to the... Oh, that's such a loss. Man, that's a rough loss too, because that's probably about a thousand dollars worth of beef that we just gave up, basically. 
gave up for free? We'll see if they've got anything worth picking up right now. 28 one 77.2. Uh, what's the Lubeck Amber price? It's not a lot of profit, but it's a profit nonetheless. Makes us look good in people's eyes. 78.3. Salt back in stock yet? Kind of, but not really. Like, I swear, I think the salt prices... Like, I think they fluctuate really badly. Um, like, of all the places that honestly I wish didn't have as much flux... Or, of all the things I wish didn't have as much fluctuation. Hola, Doctor! Um, salt would probably be... Would probably be it. Um, I would much prefer salt to be a less deviation than it is, because it seems like no matter what, it's it's either really really good or really really bad, and it's it's there's no in between with it. Uh, Forty-eight five nine. I mean, See if we can find anywhere that wants wine. A 3% tariff. Well, fuck you too, guys. Sheesh. These clo clones, the yellow and red guild, I do not like them. They legitimately screw everybody over on prices. Uh, well, just been doing this in Monster Hunter World, so I mean, it's been fun. Um, 7-2, so that's definite profit. Beef. Always a profit. Uh, what's the population need? So they need more pork. Still need more beef. Um, how's our salt doing? Salt's still way up. Go see if I can buy some fish from Riga. Yeah, no, we don't talk much anymore. Um, that's nothing against you, it's just I don't, I don't talk to really anybody anymore. I'll go back to Lubeck with that. So, where are you working nowadays? Back to Kroger. Okay. I take it some of the issues got resolved there. Oh, 
Oh, I thought you had. I thought that was the place you worked before that fast food chicken joint. No. Load. Okay, once we get to 10,000, I want to go ahead... No, that was McDee's first time working as Super Mario. Ah, okay. Uh, once we get to 10,000, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and have us buy another ship. Um, you guys could be thinking of a ship name that you uh, think is pertinent. didn't want to buy back my wine. Jeez. Nice. Okay, what's this on the site? Uh, being a merchant is good and nice, and sailing is always fun, but the real power in the, ha in the Hanseatic League is the Supreme Counselor. If you strive for higher and aim and want to steer your fortunes of the Hanseatic League yourself, you have to earn the reputation for it. Prove the Hanse Councils your worth have to become a councilman someday. Increase your reputation with the Hanseatic League to 22%. You will receive 2,000 silver marks as a reward. Bulging bag. So my city's on fire. Like, my city's on fire, and unfortunately because it's on fucking fire, I can't sell. So I'm gonna hold in port with the, with the stuff that we've got, and hope like hell that somehow we can we can sell this before it spoils. If it gets down to like 10 days, I may just go to Copenhagen just so I can turn a profit. Days, 15 days. Come on guys, you gotta put this fire out. Get the fire put out, come on. Nine days. Oh, man. How do I help? There's, like, is there a way for me to help? Oh, by the way, I might want to redo this. I want to help so bad, but I can't. And my product's going to spoil... Oh, man. I 
can hear the fire, but there's no fire. Jeez. Uh... I, I've got to sell it. Like, I hate to do that, but I've, I've got to sell. This beef will expire before before I have a chance to make a profit off it. It's not that I really just care about profit, but... I, I'm going to figure out what the city needs. How do I help you guys? Come on. Now the city menu won't open. So now the city's just downright effed, because, like, now it won't open at all. There goes our primary city. It just basically just got destroyed. Why can't I open this anymore? Wait, this is my ship? Where the hell is this ship? another ship. I don't want two ship, two convoys. why I can't open Lubeck anymore.
See, I just can't interact with Lubeck at all. So we're just going to have to go to Danzig to restock. It says that they're on fire. Okay, now that the fire's out, I can go back there. Okay, cool. Doctor, thank you for the dono, but why? I don't even care if I'm buying expensive products that the town may or may not pay me back for. Like, we gotta take care of my town. Wait, now I've got another ship. Why do I have another ship? Ooh. These dried beef are worth worth a pretty penny. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, no. I don't think so. I actually don't know what sound the donation one is for Streamlabs, to be perfectly honest. Um. But I really do appreciate it, bud. You didn't have to, though. So apparently the Hansianic League is really pissed off at the, uh, the Merchant Adventures Guild. Because, like, every one of our towns has a 3% tariff on them. No, there's three. I need to get going for work. I won't talk or anything. Uh, yeah, dude, I'll be around. Uh, just shoot me a message when you get home. Yeah, these dried beef are, are worth their weight in gold. Quite literally. Alright, hasta luego, amigo. Have a good day at work. Make sure we move the ship over, buy dried beef, buy regular beef, and that fills our cargo hold. Okay, now we travel back to Lubeck, which for some odd reason I have yet again another ship. Where did I 
I get this ship? Okay, I don't have another ship. There's just another ship in port, I guess. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Now that's saying that that's my ship. Mother! Mm, let me guess. What happened to my goods? What happened to all the goods that I just bought? Okay, they're on the Jurisdin for some reason. Alright, how's our salt market? Salt's still up. Okay, so what is this other ship that I have? Is there now three ships in my... my... The Wingbert, the Jernsden. Okay. Which their provisions need restocked anyways. Okay, so I, I'm not crazy. There's another ship there. Why is it... my symbol. I, I feel like the game's glitching right there, but I'm not... I'm not honestly for sure, because I might actually have a... another ship, and I just might not know it. right now.
Where the hell is the ship? Where the hell do you get glass? Actually, I have no idea where you buy glass at. Jurston's there. My city needs it. Let's try Burgess, I guess. Get to Burgess, though, no matter what. We have to restock. We've got to restock. Now my ships aren't registering as being an anchor. What the hell, game? Like, this is annoying to say the least, but it's not... Like, so long as I can get it fixed, I'm not that worried about it. But realistically, this is a bug that is ever so annoying. Because I've got a ship that doesn't exist. And I've got a... Ship that's not docked, somehow. Okay, now they're docked. Now it only shows the two ships that actually exist. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I don't know how to how to get glass. Um,
want to try and help them, but they're making good time, so they should get away just fine. You just attacked them, now you're gonna attack them again? Jeez. What dicks? Okay, tasks. Still glass, which I have no idea where to get glass. So, since I don't know where to get glass, I can't really help with that as much as I'd love to. I just, I don't know how. Cargo hold filled with that, and then we'll go ahead and buy some more pork. We'll fill up this cargo hold with pork, um, then we'll sail back to Lubeck. Might just dock in Riga though. Okay, no, on to Lubeck. And all we're doing right now is we're just trying to raise the family's reputation. Um, and to do that, what I'm noticing is that you need to sell things that the population needs. So, for instance, they need pork. They can always use beef. And then, like, they need stuff for clothing, which uh, was, like, wool and shit. Uh, so... Which in turn makes us profit while we're doing it. Um, dry beef, beef, pork, pork, wool, wool, go to Bisbee. some more pork until that's full. Then we'll go over here, we'll buy some cheap skin until that's full, and fill the rest with pork. It's really not good to have our armored transport laden down with goods, but we're trying to help rebuild the city. So anything we can bring back at this point in time, profit or no, is a good thing. Like, this wool. I'm making pennies on the dollar. But I don't care. I'm not doing it for the profit. I'm doing it to help the population. And, like, this dried beef, well, yeah, it can spoil. Like, we've gone from 11% all the way up to 16 so far. Just from helping the population. Like, I'm actually going to go sail somewhere and see if we can't just fill up on pork. Like, Kier's got a lot of pork. We're just gonna fill up on pork. And beef. Pork and beef. That's the only... I just did the thing I hate when I do. Okay. And we're gonna go to Bisbee. Little 
change there, but again, it's not about the, the money we're making here. Because we're making our weight in beef alone. Like, beef is where we're actually making the profit. Um, what is this? Town growth. A district was abandoned because it was no longer inhabited in Visby. Okay. Uh, the Council of the Hansa Guild announces the traders from the Merchant Adventures Guild must pay a 5% tariff. Okay. Hansa Guild has decided in favor of diplomatic relationships towards the Gremo Merchanti Guild, which uh, sounds like an Italian merchant guild. That's cool. Glad we're uh, able to all work together. Let's buy some like alcohol. I believe this stuff sells well. And then some ash as well. That may be buying really high for ash. I don't know. We're going to buy some cod up here. Actually, no. We'll buy some herring. Did I just... I just bought that stuff to... Yep, I did. Okay. Gotta start checking that. Okay, we're gonna buy some just generic herring. Sail, sail the rebel. Where we're gonna part ways with, or we're gonna buy beef and some pork. Uh, we're gonna sail up to Truku. They're in uh, so they need pork. I'll help them out a bit. We'll go ahead and dump off the fish because it's gonna spoil soon. Uh, and we'll go to Visby. Some more beef, some pork, and wool. Fill the rest of the hull of this ship with wool. Alright, off we go. to invest in a galleon to be a part of our escort. Uh, but I don't know because that would be a lot more provisions that we would have to have to get. Which begin which? Better restock. Uh, but we'll buy some more alcohol um, while we're over here. Price of alcohol is way up over here though. Jeez. There's really nothing worth buying from you guys. I am so sorry. But... Get here. Buy what beef you guys have. Some more pork. The wool's down in price. We'll buy some more of that. We'll buy some dried beef. Some pork. And... More pork. And we head back to Lubeck.
alcohol down. Okay, your alcohol's down in price. Uh, I don't know if malt's ever good is is ever a good buy. It just it doesn't look like it's a good buy unless you're making production. I'd assume. That's about the only way it would seem like it would be a good buy. Ooh, their wool price is way up and I just bought it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well. It'll be at a loss, but that's fine. Well, maybe not, if I can get the average down. Chase them around the bend. Alright, now we go. Okay, so with the clones got the clues or whatever, we're officially neutral. Election for mayor. Lubeck has decided to stay in the Hansa Guild. Okay. However. Each guild has a cert. Okay, pause. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. I want to see that. I wanted to see that tip. Okay, six trade guilds compete for influence in a town with each transaction. Buying or selling at this town's market, the guild standing equally increases by a small amount. The residents of the town commission tasks to be done every now and then too, the guilds can increase their standing with these tasks. In the event of sufficiency, sufficiently trading goods to complete tasks, this influence rises proportionally. Okay, so if we actually wanted to get, like, say, Copenhagen into our... A 6% tariff? Fuck you guys. Jeez. Um, we would need to trade with them. So what are things they need, then? Because it looks like they can always use uh, cod and herring, which basically, from what I can tell, you don't ever buy those at, at a good price. Sheesh. Man alive, like these guys are... Like I want to bring them into the fold, but at the same time it's like, man, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg just to do it. for sure though I would love to bring into the fold um, primarily because 
if we can make them our allies, they sell beef at a fairly good price. So yeah, just that just that little bit of trading with cod and herring, like that that already did wonders. But I can't buy from them right now because there's a six percent tariff. That that's just brutal. Look, your town needs pork. You can bite me on the flipping tariff. Your town needs it. Let's just put a tariff on something our town needs. Oh, that's the smartest idea you've ever had. Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're actually going to go down here to uh, Danzig. Pick up some alcohol. Um, assuming they have any? Somebody must have just bought it. That's a shame. I want to pick up some alcohol to take to uh, these guys. So it's it's specifically on pork. So I owe them money if I bring their town pork, which their town needs. How does that make any sense? I did that on the wrong ship. Like, wouldn't you want your town to freaking prosper? Like, I'm losing money on that. I know for a fact I'm losing money on that. But at the same time, like, I'm okay losing money? Because... It in turn makes me more money down the road if I can bring them into the fold. Like, it's a risk reward kind of thing, but like if we can pull it off, we'll be heroes. Just to build a risk of pork. Pork and wool. Maybe. Jeez. You know, this says my town needs incense. I feel very insensitive about that. You know, they sell malt here. Well, it was at 8 something. I was gonna buy it when it was at 8 something. Alright, 
let's try and buy alcohol again. Actually, here soon I'm probably gonna buy. Uh, you guys have galleons, carrots, escorts. These are warships. Let's go to Riga real quick. I want to buy two cogs. Okay, and then I want to click on this and I want to merge it with this grouping. So this way we've got more stuff we can transport. Oh crap, did I just load this onto a ship that doesn't exist? Go ahead and uh, yeah, no bad of that. Ah, shit, our cod's expired. Yeah, hurry up. Okay, pause. Which one has the damn cod? So, all in all, we basically lost a thousand to buy two ships. I'm okay with this. Oh, the investment in those two ships is well worth it. But I do want to go ahead and do something that... that that's going to come back to bite me, but I, I, I want to buy... A, a galleon. I want to have a galleon in our crew. And this galleon's going to be very well armed. And they're actually going to be. It's going to be the lead ship. So we'll have to make sure we change whenever we want to sell. But having that galleon at the forefront, in theory, should make it to where we have a lot less issues. There should be a lot less people that are willing to jump a galleon. So I, 
I'm not 100% on that, but I feel like that would be a smart investment. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go get lunch. I will be back in maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but I am going to go ahead and stop stream. Much hearts to everybody who stopped in. Much hearts to Doctor for the Dono. Much hearts to I Like Mems for the follow. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. Ciao.